right, George. Now you're almost at the end of your death metal drum show workshop tour in Germany. Yep. How do you like it so far? Do you like Germany? I love it, and um, the funny part this, uh, on this tour is uh, that you know I drive myself, so I have the chance to see uh, the country a little bit better, and um, you know hotels every day. It's pretty easy and pretty fun. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So far, it's awesome. Um, what about the people here who come to your workshops and your shows? Do you think uh, that Germany is a metal country, especially a death metal country? Definitely. Well, Germany has um, definitely one of the strongest markets, if not the stronger in uh, Europe. And uh, this is the reason we do actually many shows here. You know, when we come with the band, you know, we have like, uh, I don't know, like uh, eight shows in Germany and then, you know, we go to France and, you know, Greece, Italy or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and the people, you know, they kind of like, uh, there is a variety, you know, some, some guys are like, you know, are there for the band, some others are, you know, drummers, you know, we have great time. That's cool. So, um, right before this workshop tour, right before you came to Germany, what have you been doing with your band Nile? Have you been touring? Yes, we had, um, we did uh, from uh, October. Uh, we had uh, one European tour, one US tour, one um, South American tour, one uh, Japan tour. You know, we, we pretty much did everything, and then you know the first leg, uh, you know, ended. So I thought, you know, this is a good time, you know, to do some more drum things and you know just get out of there and play. What will happen when you return after the show, after the workshop tour, when you return to Greece? Will you be on tour? Um, I'm going back to Greece in two days, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be there for seven days, get a small break, and teach in my you know in my school, my city's way. Uh, and yes. uh, then I have uh, another clinic tour in Italy, and then we have an hour tour in the States, and then in Europe and so on. You know. I'd like to know about your students in modern music school in Athens, mm -hmm. since you're a teacher there. Yeah. Um, what do your students look like? Are they all long-haired and evil and just asking for death metal drumming? Of course. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, actually, um, uh, some of them are rock drummers. Of course, I have some uh, death metal guys and um, I think there's a variety, you know. It's mostly rock metal drummers, of course, you know. Yes. Uh, I don't have any jazz players, you know. Oh. You know, my students want to, you know, want to learn to play uh, metal or you know rock music, hard rock, you know, or extreme metal, um, and we have great, great time. George, we're really happy to have you as one of our instructors here in the German professional program for drums. Yes. He's even in this brochure here, right there. Can you see him? <laughs> so, um, what do you think, what are the typical questions of advanced drummers mm -hmm. who want to go more into the metal stuff? What do they want to learn and where are their limits? Uh, for the professional program, of course, uh, I teach the double bass side of you know rock drumming. Okay. Um, I get many questions. Uh, I already did uh, in uh, our school in Athens. I did um, our first professional program class, you know, and uh, it went really, really good. Mm. Uh, I get a lot of questions about touring. You know, they, about touring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, drumming, it's 
one thing, but you know, touring as a drummer is another thing. It's it's kind of weird, you know. So they they really want to know what's going on there, and you know how how much you're able to get there, and you know, pull everything out, you know, every day. And I think so far it's going great, and uh, these guys really get some uh, crazy, important, really important information. Yeah. Yeah. From your experience as a teacher, um, would you say that playing death metal drums does it have to do something with, let's say, a natural talent, or is it mostly technique and training and building up stamina? What's the secret behind it? Um, I would say first is uh, love about music and love on what to do. I mean, I don't think you're able to play death metal drumming if you don't really like the this style. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sometimes it's uh, painful, it takes a lot of practice, of course, um, uh, very much dedication, you know. I don't really believe in talent, I believe in passion and work. That's so I think, answer. you know, I don't think anybody, you know, born with, you know, the, the, the talent and, you know, the, uh, the ability to play death metal drumming. That's, for me, this is very, you know, no, it's not true. But I know many people that have the passion to play and, you know, they work a little bit harder and I was one of them and, you know, obviously it pays off. Yeah, um, obviously it does. <laughs> in some of your workshops here in Germany, there were even little children in the yes. audience asking funny questions. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't that surprising for you? That was great. That was great because um, um, first I think I wish I had their chance and see any drummer, you know, doing a workshop while I was 10. Uh, when I was 10, I didn't even have drummer friends, you know, or there wasn't drum shop, so I can go and just check out drums. Um, as far as the question goes, um, that was the funniest part, and I was so surprised that all these questions were spot on, you know, I mean, some really important questions that I don't really, uh, I don't usually get, you know, usually I get uh, questions about my foot technique, my hand technique, you know, speed, some questions about Nile, you know, like basic stuff. But, you know, questions about, uh, do you do mistakes on stage or, you know... Do you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, many, many, thousands. Uh, I really enjoyed these uh, classes. I think we were, there were two that we had many, uh, uh, many kids and uh, it was really, really funny. Yeah. We hope they will keep the metal, especially the death metal, alive. I hope so too. Uh, but what about the image and the mentality of death metal, especially in your band Nile? Because, uh, you know, many people still today are very prejudiced about yeah. the messages mm -hmm. which they think that you transport in your music. Yeah. Well, Nile obviously have no... Um, you know, we're not into the image so much. You know, we are really into playing. And you can really tell if you watch the band in one show, you can definitely tell. Um, there are many bands that maybe get the wrong messages out there, you know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's all theater anyway. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is what it is. You know, it's, it's like watching a movie. Of course, yeah. of course. If you, if you watch a movie and you see um, one guy pretending to be the Antichrist or, yeah. you know, whatever. It's, well, it's, he's an actor, you know. He, he's got to sell this. He's got he's to look evil, you know. So that's image like, this is, to me, that's what music is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a theater and you can't really play, um, let's say, evil music if you don't look evil. Mm -hmm. No, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah.